Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying a big intervale blue. This is a salmon fly that we really love using in Atlanta, Canada. It was originally created by Len Rich for the Marguerite River back in the 80s, but we still use it to this day with really good success. So without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, today we're going to be tying on a number four partridge M2. Nice little hook. We're going to be starting off with black UTC in size 70. So we're basically going to wrap our thread down to our hook bend. Or not the hook bend, sorry, our hook point. And that's the way I do most wet flies. I uh, It just kind of creates a stopping place and allows you to create some uniformity in if you're tying multiples. Uh, so we're going to be using a gold mylar here in the back. And I just tie that in. Bring the thread up a little bit. And we're going to wrap. That should be large enough. A few wraps just to secure that in. And we can clip this off. <clears throat> All right. So now we're also going to want to put our oval in. And today we're using a size small gold Vivas. And I'm just going to tuck that back in my spring to get it out of the way. I'm not going to come up the hook yet because we're going to tie in some um, golden pheasant crest. So we're going to choose a feather that looks to be around the right size and we're just going to process it and basically what I do there is I just hold the very tip of this feather and strip everything else away. And that kind of gives us uh, nice little feather where all the strands are coming right to the tip and that should work yeah that'll be fine so I'm gonna just want to cut that around there and start coming up I'm not gonna worry about getting all this really covered in well because I'm gonna be going over this with a floss anyway Alright, so now what I want to do is I'm going to tie off this thread and that's because I have my floss on a bobbin and that thread will just get in the way. So for floss today I am not going to try to pronounce what this is called uh, because I have too many French friends that will make fun of me <laughs> but uh, it's a uh, silk um, floss from France. Beautiful stuff. And we're using in like a really royal blue color which is what kind of makes the uh, big interval blue stand out. I'm just going to come in around there and start working my way up now. put my thread back on and just tie that floss in. Now you've noticed I've given myself lots of room up near the head of this fly and that's because we're accommodating a wing and a collar on this and I always find it best just to give yourself room. So I'm just going to turn my hook a little bit so I can see what I'm doing and you're typically going for five wraps of uh, ribbing on this. Now for the wing, it calls for a polar fiber or a polar bear wing in this fly. Uh, I don't use polar bear. I don't like using polar bear. So what I have here is something very similar, and it is a goat. 
a really, really beautiful goat pelt. So basically I just pick out a nice spot where the ends aren't split. And I'll cut that off. So there's a bit of under fur here and basically what I do is I just hold it by the tip and just pull all that stuff out. I'm going to stack this because I like to have a nice uh, stacked wing. It's not for everybody, some people like a nice tapered wing. And I just kind of look at that wing and see if there's anything that's sticking out I don't want there. Alright, and I'm just going to turn the fly over here so I can see where I'm sizing this up. Right about there. I'll turn it back over now and you can see where we uh, where we land it with the length of the wing. And like generally I, you know, maybe I did a little bit too long here, but I want to be at the tip of where the golden pheasant is and that's how I like to tie mine. I'm just going to throw in some crazy glue on that cut end and that will uh, just hold that securely in place when it's being fished. Now we need to put a collar on this fly. And uh, I use uh, hen saddle for my collars. I find them to be a really nice, rich uh, collar material. And uh, you know, a lot of that is personal preference, guys. Don't, uh, don't be afraid to try something new. Whatever you feel like doing. And basically I'm just kind of looking through around the size I want to have this at, which is right about there. So what I do is I hold the tip, I hold the back while licking my fingers a bit, and I kind of just stroke those fibers while pulling them back. And that's just going to tease them and tame them a bit for uh, tying this collar in. You certainly want to have your palmering going a certain way. in the tip and I'll cut off the extra stuff hanging out there and just bring my thread up a bit so you're trying to get your palmering towards the back And you'll know when you got it. And I might just do one more turn. Let's have a nice thick collar on this one. Why not? And we're just tying that off. And we're going to cut the extra. Now I'm just kind of pulling those uh, feather fibers back and I'm coming up over them. And that's just going to force them down a bit more. And now is your chance to kind of turn the fly around and have a look at it and see what you think. I'm happy with those results. and we're going to tie that off now alright and uh, these fibers on the collar they can be a bit sticky uh, they like to 
kind of stick together so uh, you can separate them if you want just if I mean it doesn't matter they're all going to go back together once you use this fly but I mean if you want to take a nice photo or something it, you can just use a dubbing brush to separate it a bit yeah the wing is a bit long for for the size hook that we're on here but uh, you know that's going to fish so we'll finish off with a little bit of head cement Really, I should be using a bodkin for this, but uh, my head cement's been coming out of this bottle really well lately, so. Alright, folks. There you have it. That is a big intervale blue. Excellent little salmon fly for the east coast of Canada. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Uh, if that's not your thing, that's totally cool too. Just happy to have you along. So until next time, take care.